Well, National Police Commissioner Ria Piecha is in the firing line after ANC spokesperson Keith Koza said she misled the party about the so-called fire pool at Nkandla. The commissioner is also under pressure to do some damage control as the police's public image continues to suffer. Well, reports of police brutality and incompetence continue to surface on a regular basis. The commissioner met with the South African National Editors Forum, that SANEF, last week in an attempt to improve the relationship with the media and therefore the public. Well, she joins me now to tell us more about these efforts. Uh, General, thank you for joining us on Morning News today. Let's talk about your meeting with the editors and the media and how do you see the media helping you with the uh, sort of public perception and improving the image of your officers? First and foremost, let me say to you, Veka, good morning and to your listeners. The meeting that we had was requested by SANEF themselves and their issue was that they felt there is a wedge between the media and the police. My view on this matter is that uh, the issue of media and the police is one of those, uh, you know, union type issues. You, we need each other. Hmm. And uh, it is important for us to use our platforms, you know, uh, meaningfully. And I'm saying that because, you know, in the job that we do, it is important for us to always create awareness around the work of the police, mm -hmm. awareness about the rights of people on uh, policing-related aspects. So the media has a very critical role to play over and above the other stakeholders that we deal with. So it is important for us to talk and make sure that we have uh, mutual benefits in terms of our relationship. So in other words, are you asking that the media also focus on the good stories around police as opposed to always just sort of the negative stories it is important that that narrative be balanced. Mm. Media should always report transparently, openly, and objectively. Mm. If there are negative issues to be reported upon, yes, let them do so, because we also use that as a platform to learn to continuous, uh, continuously improve how we offer. But at the same time, it is important to actually assure the citizens of this country when good things are happening, that ensures that the safety and security of the public is secured. and. The awards that we held mm. last week is another effort of saying, whilst we are listening to some of the challenges that are sitting in the police, there are a lot of good things that are happening. And to say to this country, South Africa, you are safe. But General, unfortunately, and I, and I think you know the, 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 the bad stuff is happening, if I could put it as simply as that, mm. and it far outweighs a lot of the good deeds that are being done by police who are undoubtedly you know, have their own challenges in doing their jobs. How are you... Um, without the help of the media, what are you doing to actually uh, get the image of the police back up there as officers, as men and women that we as South Africans can trust and trust not to be the ones who are actually hurting us back? Veka, I'll say to you, you would assist me by actually communicating in a balanced fashion. That's number one. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, in public order policing, for instance, we handle over 13,000 unrest, community unrest per annum. One goes wrong and the whole world will never know that there are 12,000 plus others that have been managed by the police peacefully and very well too. Mm. So I'm just saying it is important as you look at those wrong ones because it's necessary also to report the wrong ones. It is important to also s highlight the positive issues that are being done but asking me about what else we do, mm. I want to say to you in the 20 years of our democracy, we've done a number of things. First one to say we've shifted, for instance, the training of the police from a six month training to a two year training, where we are wanting to professionalize policing, where we are wanting to make sure that our police have much, much more time to learn all the other areas that are necessary for them to police in a democracy. I want to say to you, we've done a little bit more in terms of uh, resourcing the police. The government has invested quite significantly in policing. If I say to you now that uh, 20 years ago, it would have been uh, you know, one of those things to see a police man in a car mm. driving around in the township was a misnomer. Mm. You'd see them in bus bicycles, you'd see them walking. Now I can tell you that we boast of a one to four in terms of uh, one police to one, four policemen to one vehicle. And nice fast cars as well. Hey. <laughs> and also I want to say to you, we've increased our visibility 
our visible policing. This is now we talk why we talk about 200,000 uh, police uh, mm. service members. We have more police stations. There's a lot that we're doing for accessibility and many other things. Have you, I mean, we, we, we know about the service delivery protests and we know about the things that can go wrong in crowd control. What about the individual incidents of police brutality? We're also looking at uh, incidents of police officers, the murder suicides, murdering their partners. We've seen all of that. Have you been able to identify now the root causes, the main reasons? Are we looking at post-traumatic stress? Are we looking at money issues? Have you sort of identified what are the main um, woes of your, of your men and women? I think on the issue of police brutality, let me say to you, when those incidents happen, don't judge us on the incident, judge us on what we do when that happens. Every, you know, policing is a highly regulated uh, profession. It gives you standing orders, it gives you instructions. Mm -hmm. Every police service member knows how to arrest. If they do it wrongly, they know that we'll react. Because we would like to look at was it right for you to arrest a member in that fashion? So we would have our own internal processes. IPID will come in because mm. IPID is there to police the police. Because we have a lot of power, it's got to be fettered. That is why you have the police of the police. So, so a lot is being done to ensure that uh, we nurture our policing and make sure that it's a policing that is able to police in a democratic environment. General, let's go to the other issue that uh, sort of has uh, had you in the, in the headlines recently, that of Nkandla and the issue of this fire pool slash swimming pool. Nobody really knows what to call it now. You've been accused of misleading the ANC's NEC about this, what you still maintain is a fire pool. And they're now saying they want you to answer for that, for some action to be taken. Just your response to that. What I can say to you, Veka, is that police commissioner can never be government. You know that uh, a TAST team report of the government was issued. And that is a TAST team report that includes all stakeholders mm. that played a role there. So that report has been issued, and I'm sure government has been uh, on record saying they're looking at the report of uh, uh, the public protector and that they shall be responding. So I'm part of government. Mm. And uh, I want to say the, go issue, the, gov the report that has been issued, I'm sure government still stands by. But are you not feeling like you might be one of the potential scapegoats, so one of the potential fall guys in this issue, especially over this fire pool, swimming pool issue, which South Africans' perception is that, you know, they've been treated as if they're stupid? Those are phrases that have been given by the media. I tell you that I'm part of government and I support the, the report that was given by government that report. And in terms of Marikana, we know this commission, the Farlem Commission, was supposed to only last about four months, if, if I'm correct, and this drags on. And from the latest testimony from one of the police officers saying he was asked to take the fall for this, hasn't really been a good time for you. Do you think you'll ever bounce back from that? Do you ever think Mar you, know, you will come back from Marikana? Bounce back lead? from where, Vicka? Just from the perception of Marikana and what's happened there and what could be seen as very damaging testimony that's coming out. Now. Okay, look, we, as the police, we really were very uh, welcoming of the president's appointment of that uh, commission. We committed as police to fully participate, truthfully, honestly, transparently, in that commission, and we continue to do so. If there is any testimony by any person, we still have an opportunity in that commission to go and put our own response to the allegations that have been made. And I can assure this nation that we as police will go there and respond to those allegations. Right, we wish you all the luck, especially with upping the image of the force. Thank you very much. That's National Police Commissioner Ria Piecha. No more. ENCA.com.